Let's talk about the mechanism of tectonic plates. The plate tectonic theory is regarded as the most important theory ever developed in the field of geology. Resting on a broad synthesis of geologic and geophysical data, plate tectonics allowed men to deeply understand the global environment including the activities underneath Earth. In a nutshell, the theory of plate tectonics attributes various events such as earthquakes, volcanoes, mountain building processes, and other related phenomena to the motion and interaction of the plates that compose Earth's lithosphere. It states that lithospheric plates on the scale of continents and ocean floors are constantly moving in response to the movement in the mantle. Using various geothetic techniques such as satellite laser ranging and global positioning system, scientists can now easily measure the movements of the crustal plates. Moreover, predict the possible locations of these plates centuries from now. There are two major thoughts that were raised to explain the mechanism of tectonic plates. These thoughts are heat loss and gravity, which can be explained using the mantle convection theory and slab pool theory respectively. Let us discuss first mantle convection theory. As you can see from this setup, heat can be transferred from one place to another through a process known as convection. This type of heat transfer is usually observed from fluid molecules such as gas and liquid. Fluids expand and become less dense when heated. In effect, the less dense fluid rises away from the heat source. As it rises, it pulls cool fluid down to replace it. As the pool fluid becomes heated, it also rises and pulls down more cool fluid, creating a cycle that stops only when the heat is eventually distributed throughout the fluid. One driving force behind plate tectonic is mantle convection. This theory was proposed by Arthur Holmes in 1929. Using Wegener's observations, Holmes suggested that as the mantle became heated, its density decreases and eventually rises up. He added that when the material cooled, it would sink, exhibiting a circling behavior that he described like a conveyor belt. According to Holmes, the pressure of heated magma broke the continents apart, forcing the pieces to drift in opposite directions. He further speculated that when the material sank, continents will be brought back together again. As presented in a conveyor belt model, tectonic plates are moved possibly by convection currents in Earth's mantle. Mantle rocks near Earth's core become extremely hot, making them less dense than the cooler mantle rocks in the upper layers. In effect, the hot rocks rise and the relatively cooler rocks sink, creating slow vertical currents within the mantle. These convection currents in turn generate convection cells circling with the mantle-like conveyor belts. The convection currents push the magma up, forming new crust and exerting a lateral force on the plate and pushing it apart to create seafloor spreading. The second theory is called the slab pool theory. This theory states that gravity and the plates themselves are the ones responsible for the plate tectonics through subduction process. We are aware that subduction zones exist at the outer edges of plates. In these zones, rocks are older, hence they are cooler and denser compared to those located at the inner layers. The old rocks or slabs also subduct or sink into the mantle below it. This is due to gravitation forces. As the slab is pulled down into the mantle, causing tectonic plate movement. The slab pool theory believes that mantle convection is not the cause of plate tectonics, but rather it is a product of subduction. Now that you have understand what happens inside the earth and its effect on the earth's surface, you should be able to realize 
that the tectonic activities at the surface, just like volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, are inevitable. It means tectonic activities cannot be avoided even if you ask the Avengers to assemble. You should view that the Earth as a dynamic planet and is still the most fascinating planet for it offers you a home that no other planet can. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.